fan. So Sean O'Malley signs a eight fight deal with the UFC. And my question to you guys is, was that a smart move? Yes or no? Now, we already know the contract disputes that we've had over the years. Guys like Francis Nagano is probably the first one, a fresh one, fresh one to come to mind. You know, even John Jones and Jorge Masvidal, I believe even Conor McGregor. There's been multiple, multiple disputes um, regarding contracts um, as far as the eyes can see, as far as we remember within the UFC. Um, so, and to my knowledge, what has always been the go-to contract was always like a four-fight deal. So that's why I'm always that's why I'm asking you guys, was it smart for Sean O'Malley to sign a eight fight deal? You know, and personally, my opinion is no, it really wasn't. Now, he says he's very happy with it, which is good. You know, it's good to be happy with it. But it just seems like a very long time and you're at that pay. You know, it'll be different. I don't know the details regarding contracts. I wish I did know. And I wish we would get contracts. Um negotiations live so we understand a bit more you know maybe we have a lawyer or somebody that can that really understands contracts to tell us what's really going on behind the scenes you know we don't need to know how much a fighter is making that's fine that's his business that's his or hers business they can make whatever it is they want to make and do whatever it is they want to do regarding their pay that's fine no one's questioning that but what we are questioning is we look at the Again, the fresh, more um, fresh example is Francis Nagano. You know, when you sign a deal that you get paid six hundred thousand dollars a fight, regarding the fact that that may be a little bit money, or that might be a lot of money, depending on the fighter. But now, let's say, for example, you are now selling out the house and you are making big bucks, or not making big bucks, but you're doing um, big numbers in the pay per view, and um, you're now a champion. Well, you feel like you should be probably getting more, right? But at the end of the day, not really. You're not getting as much as what you feel you are worth. Because, you know, you are the champion. The crowd, the crowd is being sell, sold out. You know, pay-per-view sales are up. But yet, you're still getting paid what you got paid before being a champion. So, it doesn't change. Now, if in the contract things change, which unlikely because we have yet to hear something like that happen. We have never heard, like, you know, a contract change midway through. If it has happened, I, I would love to know. Maybe you guys know, let me know. But as far as I know, it doesn't. So when you sign an eight-fight deal and you sign for, like, let's just say 200, 400, 500, even 600, you're going to make that $600,000 from now till the end of the eight-fight deal is over with. And if you want to go box or you want to go do something, guess what? You're not able to do that. You're not able to go and, you know, test the free market, you know, test the market out, test yourself, you know, see if you can get more money elsewhere like some of these other fighters do. Now, who knows? Maybe Sean O'Malley is getting paid way more than what any other usual uh, MMA fighter is getting paid. Fine. And like you said, he's happy with it. But it's just very risky because, you know, some fighters don't want to take that risk. That's what it almost feels like when someone signs an eight fight deal. Like, hey, I want to be, make sure 100% I make this money no matter what. You know, so whether I lose multiple times or I don't get a championship, I still get this money, which is okay. It's a safe way to put it. But again, if you are becoming more of a superstar, if you're coming that Conor McGregor level superstar, but you are still fighting at that, um, that uh, $600,000 dollar a fight whatever you know he signed for his contract not saying it was 600 but just using that as an example um you're still going to be staying there you're not going to be moving anywhere else it doesn't matter how many pay-per-views you sell doesn't matter you know how big the crowd was it doesn't matter how many views you got doesn't matter how big your instagram is it doesn't matter none of it matters at the end of the day you're still going to get paid what you signed on the dollar line for it doesn't matter if some crazy boxer called you out you know at the end of the day you're this is what you're going to be doing so it's very, very risky, very risky. I remember Josh Thompson had always said this. Josh Thompson from the Weighing In podcast had always said that, hey, you know, it's always good to sign a four fight deal because, you know, you never know. Maybe at the end of that four fights, you are the champion and you are making more pay-per-view numbers. Now you can negotiate for a much higher pay. You know, it's good to really test yourself. It's really good to leave some open, you know, leave yourself available, leave yourself um Available to make more money, I guess you should say. So that's just my question. That's um, that's actually my personal opinion, guys. I would like to know what you guys think and what you guys are um, thinking about this. Did Sean O'Malley do um, good? Did Sean O'Malley, um, 
make the right decision to sign an 8-5 deal? Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.